welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies and today I'm going to show you the things that I bought myself from the wool shop Llandudno and also the artificial flower shop next door. So if you've missed the first video then I will actually link that in the description down below. We've got four shop with me videos and we've got a haul video and we've also got a fantastic giveaway as well. They've very 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 generously given us a box of goodies to give away so make sure that you are subscribed and also don't forget to go on and like their pages we've got instagram and we've also got a facebook pages as well and i'm going to link those in the description so go on and show these guys some support as well so i'm going to show you to start with the things that i bought i'll show you the flowers at the end so to start with i picked up one of these dry foam blocks now you can actually get the wet ones as well so these are for artificial flowers if you have fresh flowers, then you need the other kind of foam. This was 175 and I picked up two of those. And they're going to be for some arrangements that we're going to be doing on the channel very shortly. I'm just rummaging in my bag here. I also picked up some of this metallic ribbon. Now, this was 450 and you get 10 metres on this. And I have got a project in mind that I want to use this for. It's actually a reef that we're going to be making on the channel. I absolutely loved the colour of it and I think it's wired as well. I wanted it to be wired on the edges and I just thought it was like a, a really nice rose goldy colour. So I bought that and also I picked up this ribbon to go with it. This is quite um, a thinner kind of ribbon and it, you get 20 metres on here, satin ribbon and that was £3. It's um, 6 millimetres by 20 metres and it's deep rose gold. But look at those together. I just thought they'd be beautiful in the reef that I'm going to do. And I also bought this organza. It's a really long, it's 25 metres and it's 29 centimetres that way. So it's nice, it's a nice width. And that's what I'm going to be using on the reef as well. This is going to be really pretty. I can't wait to make this for you. And I bought this big long roll because I wasn't sure how much I would need. Now I've got some of these, but they do sell these type of similar reef forms to this this is the one that i've got but they sell similar ones so if you wanted to make a reef up and you were ordering bits from them ask them about their wire um reefs as well because they have got some because i did see some in there so there's that one there um, i think that's all i bought for that particular project then i picked up some of the hessian bags i did film these these are going to be for the christmas reindeer food how cute though, really rustic. They were 350 and you get five in there. But we'll do some we'll do some cool reindeer food with those later in the year. I bought some of the red tape, the red line tape. I love this. This is super sticky. They've got loads of this for sale. They've also got the normal double-sided as well. Um, so maybe if you wanted some, you could get a mixture of both. They do loads of different widths as well. Um, that's the general size one that I use. I also bought some acrylic paint. They had a stand of acrylic paint. Most of it was a pound, and I think some of the metallic ones were maybe two pounds. And these are great for doing lots of projects. Acrylic paint is great to work with. And of course, I'm a pink kind of person, aren't I? So I picked up the pink one. Then I got a couple of packs of stickers. I absolutely loved the pirate stickers. I just thought they were fantastic. Not that Phoebe would want them, but I just really like them. There'll be somebody to give those to, no doubt. And I also picked up a pack of these snowmen. They're for Phoebe. I'll, I'll put those in her Christmas Eve box. And they were just a pound a pack. But the quality looked really good of the stick on the stickers. So that's why I picked those up. Now, I also bought two of these. And I'm going to slide them in. They're quite big. And these are the florist boxes that you make up and you can do arrangements with. So they had all sorts of different colours of of these and we're going to do a little project on the channel but it won't be involving flowers so we're going to be making something else and these were i believe a pound each yes they were they were a pound each so i picked up a cream and a pink but as i say they did have other colors as well so they're those bits and i'll just grab the flowers now and show you the flowers that i bought right so here we go they had an amazing selection of flowers they really really did and i bought a few bits and pieces with projects in mind we've got some really big statement pieces that we're going to be making as well 
Right, let me show you these. I think these are wisteria. Now we had, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments if you think it's something else. Um, I, I didn't know what they were called and I asked um, a couple of my friends and that's kind of what we came up with. Now these are ace, I absolutely love them. These were 275 and basically you've got your stem like that and you hold them and they drip down. How cool and just amazing are they going to look in a, in a display. They're going to look brilliant. I bought three of the white like this. There's two there. And I also bought three of the pink. Now, I love the pinks and the light colours. And I also like it when you've got like lighter leaves as well. I think they're darker on that side. But I really like the look of the lighter kind of leaves too. But they are going to be absolutely beautiful. I'm so looking forward to doing these displays for you. I really am. And I'm not a florist. So don't think you have to be, you know, trained and you have to be great at floral arranging to do all this. You do not. Anybody can do this. If you're not sure yourself, just step by step follow what I do. You know, don't be afraid to have a go. So they're those ones. I'll just move those out of the way. Right, and now we've got these and we thought, let's move that out of the way, we thought this might be cherry blossom. So correct me if I'm wrong, if you think it's, it's anything else. Um, these are beautiful. I've got two of the pink ones and I also bought two of the cream colour. I can't remember how much they were. These are not priced, um, but if you want any of these, then give them a ring. They'll be able to help you with the prices and everything. They're not going to be super expensive because these guys are not. So, you know, don't worry about that. So we've got two of the pink and also there's two of this cream sort as well. And I'm not sure if they're going to be two different prices because they look like you get more on this one. But the guys will help you out. You know, don't worry about that. So we've got those. Let me move those to one side as well. I also bought these how beautiful are they let me just move that round i absolutely love them roses they're a cream rose and they've got a really really long stem so if you wanted to do like um quite a big arrangement maybe even one that's still on the floor you could use these now these would also be really good for weddings as well let me just see how many of those i bought I bought quite a few of those because i really really love them and again they've got the lighter leaves and i really quite like the look of the lighter leaves as well um i think i bought five of those and i think sometimes when you're doing flower arrangements it's good to keep odd numbers in mind i think sometimes odd numbers look quite nice in arrangements so we've got those i'm not sure on the price of those but again give them a ring and they will help you out with the price so they're the big big stems and just say to them they're the ones that becky had on a video right now we've got this bouquet here and i think they might be peonies they look a bit like peonies or maybe some of the kind of rose i'm not sure um these were 550 for a bunch so when you look at the bunches don't think oh we've got to have them exactly like that because you don't what i generally do when i'm doing them is i will use some snips and i will cut them down and then we'll place them in individually. So, yes, you could have them as a bunch like that and just put them in a display if you, if you don't feel confident enough. But what we'll generally do is we'll break the bits off, we'll break the leaves off and we'll place them in arrangements from then. So there's that one. Also, there's a bit of a similar kind of arrangement here. Not exactly the same, but, but similar. That one's 350 that's really pretty as well, isn't it? And lots of greenery on there too. Right. Got a, little, got a pink one here. And I haven't just gone for pinks and whites as I normally do. I have got some other colours too. Here we've got another bouquet. This one is 325. Again, we can pull out the flowers. If you were doing a wreath, then you could even just like cut the heads off and just stick them round. Um, so there's various different things that you know that you can do with them all these green bits here you can pull these out as well and stick those in and um, we've got a big massive leaf there so you can use that for different displays but I just thought that was really pretty and as I went round I sort of thought in my head what I was going to do so I sort of picked up what I needed right this one here is some kind of heather I think they had loads of bits like this all sorts of different colours so I've got the green with the pink tips so I thought what I could do is 
maybe cut some of those bits off and stick some of those in some arrangements as well. Um, so they're really handy. They're like a, a good filler to have in. I probably wished I should have picked up more of these, but um, they're really good to keep in as well. Right, now I've got some ivy. And again, this is a really good filler to have in. I picked up one of those. I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Look, it's 375 for that one. So that's a really handy one to have. And that's a real nice colour. I love that. Again, we can break that down if we need to. And um, you can do all sorts of different um, decorations and things with that. Right. The last, I think the last pink item we've got now. This is a really, really pretty bouquet. And I loved the pinks and the dusky pinks in this. I just thought that was really nice. That was 4 25 but I love the colours. I just think they're beautiful. And they're going to really team in really, really well with um, all the other creams and stuff that we've got. Right, now I'm going to show you some blues. I picked up some blues. So here we've got some gladioli stems. They do different colours as well. Don't think that they just do pinks and creams and blues. They have got every single colour that you can imagine. Everything from black to purple and there's yellow. They're, honestly, they've got so much and so many different types. So I just thought they were really pretty. I thought we could, we could use those in a really nice display. Um, I'm not sure of the price of those. Let's just move those. Oh, I picked up three of those. Let me just show you. I've got three. Okay, right, let's move on to the next one. And we've got another blue here. I think these were in the pound section, these ones here. They had lots of pound ones out the front. And if the little bits come off, they literally just push back on. And what you can do is if they do fall off, just pop a bit of hot glue on and they'll just stick on absolutely fine. Again, I just thought these would be fantastic as like a, a, something to pad, pad it out. So you can get the more expensive flowers from them even though they're not that expensive but you can get the more expensive ones and then put the cheaper pound bits in between like you can just sort of nudge them in between just to pad it out a little bit but i just thought they were really 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 pretty i love those and last few that we've got here these were again on the pound section i just thought the blues were really pretty and again i had in mind to do the same thing just to take them off and then dot those in throughout the displays and then the last lot of flowers we've got, I'm just checking around to make sure it is. These are some kind of lilies. Again, they're really beautiful with the blues. And they've also got these white um, sort of like bits and berries or whatever they are on there. But I just thought they were really, really, really super cute. So they're the items that I bought from the guys um, in the video. So if you've missed out on the video, I will actually link that as well so you can watch it but there are so many different you know flowers and, and craft stuff there is loads on there so please go on please support them please say that becky's crafts and goodies sent you also make sure you subscribe to me because we have got the most fantastic giveaway coming up for you very very generous from the, the guys in london know very very generous for you for you and we're going to be giving it away on the channel it is worth over a hundred pounds Okay, and that will be sent out to you. So that's it for me. I hope you've enjoyed watching what I bought. And um, that's it. I hope you are okay. You take care of yourself and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.